Okay, in this video, we're going to see if this improper integral converges or not. Now let's take a look right here. And you can just do u sub, let u equal to square root of x. Sure, that will work, but I'm going to leave that to you guys. Because on my actual test, I actually helped the students by factoring out the square root of x. So the question I gave out is actually the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over square root of x times 1 plus square root of x. So this is actually the version I give out um, for my exam. And from here, I will actually let u equal this, 1 plus square root of x. And you can just do a few things. Maybe you can subtract 1 from both sides, but I will just differentiate this right here. You see this is going to be du equal the derivative of this, which is 1 over 2 square root of x dx. And I want to isolate the dx. I can do that by multiplying both sides by this. So we see dx equals to 2 square root of x times du. And the trouble is that we see that we have the square root of x. Well, in fact, when you put this in, things will cancel out nicely. You don't even have to get the u back. If you want to do that, that's fine. But if you change this to the, if you take this to a u world, you get the integral, and it depends on how you want to do it. You can finish it in the u world, or you can go back to the x world and finish it. Because here, you have the limits of integrations. This 1 to infinity means x is going from 1 to infinity. Perhaps I'll show you guys everything in the u world. So with that being said, I would actually like to change the limit to become u as well. When x is equal to 1, u will be 1 plus square root of 1, which that will give me 2. So u goes from 2. And when x is infinity, plug into here, you get u equals to, let me just write this down in red, u equals to 1 plus square root of infinity. And we see that square root of infinity is infinity, plus 1 is still infinity. So u goes from 2 to infinity right here. And I will just write this down. We have 1 over. I will just keep it as square root of x because things are going to cancel out nicely. And this right here, 1 plus square root of x, it's exactly my u. So let's multiply by u. And the dx is 2 square root of x du. And as you can see, this and that cancel each other out nicely. And as I said, I will finish everything in the u world. So this 2, I will take it to the front. And then we have the integral. This is just 1 over u du. And in the u world, u goes from 2 to infinity. And when you integrate this, we still have the 2 right here. The integral of 1 of u is natural log of absolute value of u. And in fact, you don't need the absolute value because you are going from past d2 to past infinity. So up to you. You can keep it or you can just change this back to parentheses. Doesn't matter. Anyway, you are going from 2 to infinity. Plug in infinity and then plug in 2 and you subtract. So you get 2 times ln of positive infinity. This is the first term. And then you minus 2 times ln of plug in 2 right here for the u, we have that. But as you can see, ln of infinity is infinity times 2 is still infinity, minus a final number. All in all, you get infinity. Infinity minus a final number, you get infinity. So in another word, this improper integral actually diverges. So I will just write this down for you guys. This right here, diverges. How do we know? Because we did the work. So this is how we can do it as well.